This is BZH, coming here from Big Zach's house for the first episode of Tech Injection. So last week, Apple announced a lot of new products and I want to discuss the new Apple iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is actually going to be pretty neat. It's going to be released in November during the holiday season. It's going to have a 12.9 inch screen, so it's going to be the biggest iPad as of yet and one of the biggest tablets on the market. I know I've seen some pretty big tablets. I'm not sure how many or what manufacturer it is, but this is gonna be probably the biggest on the market. The screen has a retina display and it has 5.6 million pixels, which is really cool because you're gonna be able to edit videos and watch videos in 4K, and 4K is gonna be the next big thing. So obviously this is a really big improvement. So one of the ways that the iPad is going to be able to film, well, going to be able to edit videos and watch videos in 4K is a new processor. It has a new ADX chip. So it's going to be 1.8 times faster than the iPad Air 2. So this is really cool. It's almost twice as fast of a CPU as the iPad Air 2. So to go over some of the specs of the iPad, Pro, it's going to be very thin, it's only going to be 6.9 millimeters thick, and it's only going to be 1.57 pounds. It's going to be a, so this means it's going to be a little bit heavier than the previous model, but with the big upgrades, it's really not that big of a deal. It's definitely an improvement over the previous models. Probably the best improvement and my personal favorite improvement is this iPad's going to have a four speaker setup, and when you turn the iPad, it's actually going to know, say you're watching a video, listening to music, when you turn the iPad, it's gonna change the frequency to make the sound better so you can hear it better. I know right now with, with phones and other iPads, the sound just comes out of one location and depending on how you have the phone, it could sound pretty shitty or other tablets. So this iPad is gonna be the first one to have a four speaker technology and it's gonna be able to change the frequencies based off how you have the iPad turned. So I really like this feature and this is probably my my number one favorite feature about the new iPad. All right, so some of the really cool announcements come along with the iPad Pro is the things that you can also purchase with the iPad. So the biggest shocker, well, not shocker, but something that we may have never thought was gonna happen is there's gonna be an iPad pencil, hence the word pencil. Um, they didn't want to call it a stylus. Everybody knows Steve Jobs said we'll never have a stylus, so they're calling it a pencil. And this pencil is actually pretty neat. So it's going to be priced at $99, which I personally think is pretty expensive, but it's going to be highly responsive. And one of the really cool things about it is if you're drawing a picture, depending on the, um, how much force or um, how much pressure you put into the pencil, it's going to make thicker lines or lighter lines and when you draw pictures and do certain things it's going to be really neat and it's going to be really easy to use so I really like that. Um, one of the other things about the pencil is it has, it's going to have a quick charge. So say you're in a rush and you just need to use it really quick, you're going to be able to charge it for 15 seconds and you're going to get 30 minutes of battery life out of it. I think that's really, really cool and that's a great feature and I know there's a lot of times where you're in a rush and you know, you have to charge your phone quickly and it's just not enough time. So this pencil, if you're in a hurry and you need to use it, 15 seconds and you got 30 minutes out of it. Along with the quick charge is the pencil is gonna have a 12 hour battery life. So I'm really happy about that. A um, Couple of the negatives about the pencil is it's gonna be pretty big. Um, depending, you know, looking at the size of the iPad, the pencil is gonna be really big. And one of the things I really liked about my Note 3 and some of the other Samsung tablets is the stylus actually goes inside of the tablet. The iPad pencil or the pencil, whatever you want to call it, is not going to have a place to be stored inside of the iPad. And the other feature that I'm not happy about is it's only going to be used on the iPad Pro. So when you look at that from that standpoint, you know, it's possible you can lose it and it only has use right now for just one tablet. I'm sure down the road, you'll be able to use it for other tablets, but right now, it doesn't have a storage location that I know of, and it also is only used for just the iPad Pro. The second accessory for the iPad Pro is gonna be the smart keyboard. The smart keyboard is gonna be priced at $169, and this keyboard's actually really neat. 
It's gonna be really thin, highly responsive, and it's not gonna use the same features as normal keyboards. I know iPad or Apple's had other keyboards in the past that are like normal keyboards, just a lot smaller. So this takes that away, which one is going to make it really thin and it's also gonna be water resistant. So that's really cool. You spill your drink on it or something, water, whatever. It's not going to damage a keyboard. I really like that. The keyboard's also gonna be able to fold up and be somewhat of a case for the iPad Pro. And probably the coolest thing about it is that you don't have to worry about connecting it through Bluetooth or NFC technology. You're just gonna be able to just dock the iPad right onto it. Smart technology, it's gonna connect right away and it takes away all the hassle of connecting Bluetooth. So I really like the keyboard. I think the, um, the keyboard's gonna be a great accessory. I don't think that you should buy the iPad without buying the keyboard. I could go without the pencil, but the keyboard is a definite must. If you buy the iPad Pro, you gotta have the keyboard. So the iPad Pro has a lot of different price features that I'm gonna go over real quick. So the Wi-Fi pricing is gonna come with two different prices. It's gonna be a 32 gigabyte for $799 and it's gonna be a 128 gigabyte for $949. Now remember, with 4K, um, 4K editing, 4K video, and all the technologies in the future, I probably wouldn't pick up a 32 gigabyte, especially considering the fact that you're not gonna be able to have any kind of external memory on the iPad Pro. So I probably wouldn't recommend, if you're gonna make this big investment, I personally would not buy the 32 gigabyte one. With that being said, I probably would also make sure I got one that can be used with cellular service. So. The other pricing is Wi-Fi plus cellular, and that's gonna be 128 gigabyte, and that's gonna be $1,079. They don't offer a 32 gigabyte one, and that's pretty smart. Um, now, when you think about this, if you're gonna purchase the iPad Pro along with the pencil and the keyboard and possibly a case, you could be looking at a price at a minimum, $1,350, probably close to $1,450, $1,500. It's pretty expensive for an iPad, considering you can buy a MacBook Pro, many PC desktops, like top of the line stuff, pretty cheap laptops, all kinds of other things. So when you look at the price, I think that the price is a little obnoxious. I think it's gonna be really cool for me, maybe six months, a year down the road when the prices drop a little bit, or some people buy it, get it used for a better price. but when getting this, you almost have to make your mind up, do you want a tablet or do you want a laptop? Because if you're looking at an Apple product, I just think, don't think that a tablet is ever gonna replace a laptop. I think the laptop is always gonna have that spot above a tablet. But that's just my opinion, let me know what you guys think. Finally, I had the first generation iPad and I think the first generation iPad still serves a great purpose. Yeah, it doesn't have a camera and a lot of these other functions, but the great thing about the iPads is, it doesn't matter which model you have, they're all really good products. Just, you know, a better screen, a better camera, some different functions, but for basic things, a tablet's a tablet and I'm pretty happy with my first generation iPad. So that's something to think about. Is it worth the upgrade for this monster tablet? What Apple's trying to do is get a new market base with their bigger tablet. You know, tablet sales are dropping for Apple. It's not one of their better products, so they're trying to get a bigger market. So that's some other things to consider. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about my first episode of Tech Injection, what you think about the iPad Pro, other iPads, some of my thoughts and opinions. If you disagree with them, let me know. So. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Tech Injection, and I'll see you next Tuesday.